Hello, it's Tara. It's day one of the 14 day challenge and I'm pretty excited about it. So what that is, is I just committed to 14 days of going live every day and following directions and listening to Ray Higdon and doing a couple of contests so I can win some money. So today's day one and let's get started. I want to talk about, hello, Colleen. I want to talk about something that he trained on today, Ray Higdon trained on today, um, that will help you, especially if you're a small business owner, whether you are, you know, a brick and mortar or a network marketing, whatever it is, how you can get more engagement on your profile and attract more people to you, the right people to you. And it's super simple. And I've got three awesome things to tell you about. And I don't know if you know them, but you know what? You might not, or you might've forgot them. And this is going to be a good reminder, whatever it is. Okay. So number one, and this is really important and very overlooked. Um, I've noticed a lot of people, they uh, they expect people to interact with their stuff, but they don't do any interacting or they don't even interact with the people that interact with their stuff. So this is super important. This is what Ray calls pre and post engagement. So before you post anything or you go live or you um, anything, whether it's a picture of your dog or a live Facebook or whatever, go and engage with people. Now what I do and I learned this from Ray that that is super simple because I do I do a lot of scrolling. I do engage with a lot of stuff. However, when I'm doing it on purpose before I post or before I go live, what I do is I go to Facebook stories. So you might be attracted to this right now because I reacted to your story. I don't know. And I go through until I can't anymore and I react to things. I'll either place a comment or I'll send a heart or a funny face or whatever it is. And I'll do that for about five minutes, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on how, you know, what it is I need to do. But the, the post engagement, this is where a lot of people drop the ball. Um, you might do a lot of pre-engaging and not even realize it. But after you have created the content, anybody that reacts or well, not necessarily reacts, I don't necessarily mention people that reacted because I think that's a little creepy. I, I've seen people do that. But if somebody's commenting, I am going to, when I'm finished with my live or when I'm finished posting that post, and I'm going to take five to 10 minutes immediately to interact with the people that interact on my posts. And that's, that's what's up. Um, you want to leave them a comment. You want to say thank you. You want to, all that stuff. Because every time that somebody's responded to, they feel better about it. And you also are increasing the visibility of your post because Facebook's like, oh, people like that post. People are commenting on it and she or he is commenting on it as well. So you get a little bit more traction with that, okay? Um, that's really important. So pre and post engagement, guys, start doing it. It's important. Um, now, how many times that you post? Now, I break this rule all the time. I'm, I'm just telling you what Ray's telling me to do. I do break this rule all the time. I try not to, but I do have a little trick that can help you out with that too. If you do this, if you post too much, number one in your stories, you'll see in my stories, I will have sometimes 15 and sometimes I'll have two or three. I post in there as often as I feel the urge to hit the share button. I post in my stories. However, there are some things I just really would rather on my timeline or in the newsfeed. And Ray says one to two times a day post. And be really specific and make sure that you're doing the pre and post engaging. Now that includes Facebook lives. That includes curiosity posts. That includes a picture of your dog. So be aware of that. Um, if you have a hard time. Now this is what I do and it works so far. If you have one of those days where there's just a lot of information coming at you and you want to share it and you just think it's good and you want to share it and you don't want to have to save it for later, that's another trick. Um, what I will do is I'll post it and then I will engage and then I'll come back at the end of the day and I'll hide, I'll hit the, hey Terry, I will hit the, the little three dots at the top of the post and I will mark hide from timeline. It doesn't take it out of the newsfeed. But it removes it from your profile, okay? From the, hey, Katie, or Mark. I don't know who it is right now. What's going on? Kathleen W. So I will remove it from 
my timeline so that when somebody comes over to my profile, they don't see that I posted five times that day. They only see the two that I want to keep on the timeline. But yet, in the news feed, it'll still be available. And what I found that when you hide something from your timeline, it starts getting more action in the news feed. Interesting, right? So just keep your eye on your on your um, notifications and respond to people, you know. So make sure that you're still doing that post engagement and try to keep your timeline super clean. And if you can't use that that skill, that three button skill, hide from timeline and take it off your your profile. Um, the other thing that you can do if you find yourself in, uh, I want to share everything, but you don't have time to engage, or you don't have, um, you you really don't want to put fifteen posts up and hide them all. Okay, you can create a list in your saved save. You can create a list for future posts. So if there's something that you really liked and you want to post it, but you're not doing it right now, you go back to your saved button on your Facebook and you find the post that you want to save, the share, and you share it when you're ready. Okay? So that's that's kind of a sneaky one too. Nice little... Hello, Megan. What's going on? So the next thing, the number three, is friend requests. Now, it doesn't hurt you to have a lot of friend requests that you don't respond to. From what I understand and from what Ray was t saying, what does hurt you with engagement is friend requests that you've sent that haven't been responded to. That hurts you. So you want to make a habit. And I don't know quite how to do it on the phone. I know a lot of people only use a phone. I prefer a laptop. I like my phone. Don't get me wrong. I have a great phone. I just can't seem to find it. But when I go to friend requests, I go to friends here on my laptop. And then I hit the friend request. And then there's another little spot that says request sent. Click on that and get rid of them. All of them. Remove them. If somebody doesn't respond to your friend request in a couple of days, let it go. So I would do that once a week at least. Okay. I don't really send friend requests anymore. Very rarely. Um, so I don't have to look as much. But it's in the olden times, in the in the... Back in the beginning of marketing on Facebook, everyone thought you had to have 5,000 friends. You don't want 5,000 friends. You want who you want so that you can engage with people that are going to, whether you're going to be able to improve their life or they're going to improve yours. It's about, it's about having a, a good experience on Facebook, whether you're in business or not. So don't have a lot of extra friend requests hanging out there. Um, I am pretty good about keeping the friend requests that come into me down. I'm very, very, very picky and you should be too. Um, what I'll notice is I won't have in the olden times, I would friend, I would accept a bunch of friend requests from a bunch of marketers. I don't know if, if, if their profile picture or their, the picture above their, you know, what is that? The cover photo is all about how they can help you make 5,000. I, I don't really care for that. I want to actually be friends with and do business with real people because that's really who's going to do it. So if somebody's running their business so overtly on their Facebook page, I'm not going to accept that friend request, regardless of how awesome they seem. So this is the deal, guys. I have one more super secret. I don't know if it's super secret, but I do this. Ray teaches it way to really help boost the engagement. And it's, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. I'm telling you. There are three different little things that you can do that's going to improve your experience on Facebook, whether you're here for business or not. And if you want to know what that is, just go ahead and shoot me a message. Say, give me that secret and I will tell you what it is. I do it every single day, every single day, and it makes my experience way better. So with that being said, I want to thank you so much. You have a beautiful, beautiful day, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.